Hey Aries, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name is Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Friday, February 5th. Let's see what's going on with Aries. At the heart of your reading, we have the Five of Cups and the Three of Wands reversed. This is a combination of not wanting to wait for someone else to complete their grieving process. It's impatience. Either someone's being impatient with you, saying, get over it, move on, or you're the one who's impatient with someone in your environment. Feeling like they are... From the other person's perspective it's like the person who is sad and grieving is wallowing is is drawing it out too long from the person's perspective who is grieving who is sad the other person is being um impatient and lacks understanding lacks empathy The challenge is happiness. If there's a third party in your situation, that's the challenge. But in the upright, the Three of Cups tends to have the more positive connotations of um, being social, having fun, being playful. I think whoever is impatient wants to get back to having fun with their person, misses the, the playful side of them, which isn't coming out at the moment because they're feeling very sad. If that's the tool that the impatient person is trying to get, uh, trying to use to get the sad person out of the doldrums, I don't think that it's, uh, it has been very effective. I don't think it's been very effective. Like joking around, being playful, making light of the situation. Your focus is the King of Swords. You believe that you have the, uh, the correct point of view, the wiser, more informed point of view, that your way is the right way, and that you should be listened to. Could be bordering on close-minded. Not necessarily so. See, the King of Swords does consider other people's points of view. However, he considers himself the sole decider. So if we're talking about a relationship that should be more even, more balanced, the King of Swords being the sole decider could make the other person feel imposed upon. In the recent past, we have the world. Something came to an end. This might be the thing that person B is grieving the loss of. With every new beginning, there's things that have to fade away to make room for the new. And it's not always easy to let go of. Show me the energy of the environment. What's going on around Aries? Moon in reverse. 
things are coming up to be dealt with, subconscious things about the life that both of you want. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Show me the near future. How does this story unfold for Aries? Justice. You'll have that balance. If, if the person is upset about something that's unfair, that will be corrected. If the person is wallowing and they, they're, they've taken long enough to grieve and now they're, they're just having a pity party, then that's going to resolve. Things will come back into balance within their own emotions and thereby by extension within the relationship the the balance of sadness to happiness will even out i'm not a healthcare professional. I'm not a licensed mental health care professional, not anything like that. Um, but one thing that is indicated by the moon in reverse is a psychological imbalance. So we might be talking about um, a, a b coming into balance in that way. Um, if that if if your situation involves anything regarding health or mental health, please make sure to consult a professional. Your surprise energy is the Four of Pentacles. This is stability. Holding on to the stability of what is. It's a very practical, very grounded energy. Not reaching for anything more, not afraid of losing anything less, just holding down the fort. And that energy will hit you as a surprise. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles. How is the stability of surprise? Temperance. Well, that's patience, where there was impatience. King of Cups. Someone, um, someone showing mercy or showing grace. This is patience and healing born out of love. It's like, take all of the time you need, I'm here for you. And, and that could yield the, the stability. The sense of um, having a stable foundation. Hopes and fears, we have the Seven of Swords. Secrets being kept. I feel like this is thoughts being kept secret. You're either wanting to keep certain thoughts a secret and not have to disclose them to your partner, or that's your partner's concern, and you are suspicious that they're keeping things from you. Show me the end result. Star. 
The moon and the star together, we have a major cosmic influence here. Spiritual, higher vibrational influence. There's a clarity, a lucidity that we're talking about here. Um, the star is honing back in on your true north and the inspiration and purity of direction of purpose that comes along with that. That's very healing. Lots of healing on the board here with the star and temperance. Let's get some advice for Aries. Knight of Pentacles, little by little. Um, it's, I'm here for you. We've got this. Take as long as you need. What can I do for you today? What can we do together today to, to be happy, to focus on happiness, to focus on your dreams. Focus. What, what are you dreaming about? What do you want? What's your wish? What's your dream? That's also inherent in the star. What wish of yours can we fulfill today? It, the, the Knight of Pentacles is very in the moment, but focused on the long term. So he's occupied with what can he do at the moment to get him one step or one millimeter closer to his long-term goal. That's your advice. Aries, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you back tomorrow.